It's a perfect day to go treasure hunting. But how am I gonna get treasure? I don't have a treasure map. Well, if I go treasure hunting, I'm gonna need my bag. I'm gonna go get my bag. You stay here. something. I just heard something. We need to go. Now. Come on, follow us. You gotta go. This is the way. Old village was over there. The treasure was over there. This is me for the hot food of the And the deadly poisonous plants. Yes, I never told you. 
told you that. So, we have our treasure! Wow. Hello. These are so precious. Now, all of this adventuring, I'm getting a little hungry. We need to go through the backyard. I have a couple things I need to pick out at the house. Come on.
but we need to wait 10 minutes till we put the powdered sugar on. I wonder what we would do in the meantime. Here, I know a great Bible story. I know, let's go. We made it to the living room. Nice and fluffy pillow, perfect sitting spot, and perfect. Okay, so the story is... Phone call, gotta get this. Hello? Yeah. Hi, sister. I didn't know anything at all. Oh, I understand. Yeah, <laughs> well, when you wake up, you should come back over because we're making money buddies. Well, when you're done napping, you can come over and I'm sure we'll be done making them. Okay. Bye, sister. Bye. The story is David, David and Goliath. David was a little boy who was a shepherd. He took care of sheep. So he had many wild animals that came and attacked his sheep. But here was David. He took care of those sheep, and when those wild animals came, he knocked them out, and he took care of his sheep and loved them. He never let them get eaten or get taken or get hurt. He, David, his father, told him to bring lunch to his brothers. His brothers were in the army, the Israelite army. Like the Navy, it was kind of like that, but in Bible days. Israelites were fighting against the Philistines. Bad guys, the Philistines were bad guys, and they wanted to take over the land. It was not good, it was scary. But David had seven brothers. He was the eighth brother. But his brothers were like, David, what are you doing here? It's not safe. And David said, well, I was just here giving you your lunch that father told me to. But then, right before David left, here comes a huge giant. Doom, doom, doom. Huge. Goliath said, who will come and fight me? But nobody came. Nobody said, I will fight you. David was like, who's going to fight him? Is anybody going to fight him? David went to see King Saul and asked him if he could fight Goliath. And King Saul was like, absolutely not. I do not want you to get hurt. I understand that because if I were David, I wouldn't want to get hurt or do anything like that. But David said, King Saul, I'm, I am going to do this because I believe that God will protect me. King Saul said, all right, David, but one condition. David had to wear King Saul's armor. Like, King Saul was a huge man. I mean, not like huge. <laughs> David tried King Saul's armor on. It was way too big and it was way too heavy and, it, and David was like, King Saul, thank you and I'm very happy that you wanted me to be protected, but I don't think this is going to work. Next, David went to a little brook. He got five little stones. We were thinking, but there's only one giant because Goliath had brothers. Yes, so David wanted to make sure that he got Goliath's brother's tooth. David went to the battlefield and again, Goliath came out and he said, Who will come and fight me? And then David stepped up and he was like, I will fight you. And Goliath was like, am I a dog? <laughs> That's what he thought. I mean, <laughs> a little boy to a humongous giant? And Goliath didn't, probably didn't have very good eyesight because he couldn't see from far distance on the battlefield. And going at Goliath. Goliath is coming at David. And there's Goliath with a sword. And here's David. He put that little stone, one of those little stones in his slingshot and he swung it around. And then Goliath is coming at him. And then all of a sudden, David lets go of that little stone and finish swinging that straight forward. And that little stone goes at Goliath. And everyone was like, 
the job wasn't finished. Goliath wasn't dead yet. So David took that sword. God gave him strength to lift that up. And he went <laughs> and cut Goliath's head off. Yay! Your victory! Israelites! And then the Philistines were like, and then the Israelites said, Come on, let's get him, boys! Go! Because David had just done that victory! And the Philistines were like, Because <laughs> the Israelites, they had won! And now they were chasing after the Philistines! So the Israelites got that victory that day. <clears throat> that was our story. And that gives us strength that we should always believe that God can protect us. And King Saul was amazed too. Love God. Think that God will protect you. He always does. And then believe that God is the one true God. Those are all the lessons. We probably need to go and check on the puppy chow now. I think it's ready. Okay, here we go. Wait a second. He has dirt on him. <laughs>